of all the countries in the IRB's world rankings, which one do you think has the misfortune to be bottom? Chinese Taipei? Or perhaps the Caribbean islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines? Or even the South African Kingdom of Swaziland? Well, actually, the country that does occupy 95th and last position in the world rankings is Finland. So we decided to visit Helsinki and find out a little more about their rugby as they prepared to play Baltic rivals Estonia. Being bottom is never cool, and personally, I don't like it. Our culture plays a big part in our ranking. Our culture doesn't recognise rugby, and not a lot of people know what rugby is. I have a sister in Wales, and that's how I know the game. But in Finland, they all think it's American football. We have about 400 active players in Finland. And of course, I would like to see that number grow, and see more people get involved in rugby and change the view people have of the game. They think it's big, smelly guys having a fight on the field. And with that in mind, we took to the streets of Helsinki. The aim? To test the locals on their rugby knowledge. Okay. I think this is a rugby ball. Isn't this an American football? <laughs> Thomas also captains the Helsinki Warriors, who recently won their third domestic championship in a row. He knows better than anyone the challenges that need to be overcome if Finnish rugby is to progress. No, kesä on tosiaan muutama kuukauden. Our summer is short, and during the summer we have our season, so we can't train too much as a national team. During the off-season, in the winter, we train once a month and quite often train in sub-zero temperatures. Another reason is that our coach travels from England and can't get here every weekend. We also play teams that are not in the rankings. We beat them a few times, but because they are not ranked, we don't get the points. And that's another reason why we're last. Finland, playing here in white against Israel last year, will begin their European Nations Cup campaign this week. And although they ended up bottom of the group last season, they took heart from some spirited performances. I watched the last couple of games and I was impressed with the level of rugby we played, especially the last game against Israel. They ended up group winners, but in the second half we controlled the game. It was good preparation for our next game against Luxembourg, and I can't wait for the fixture. We are getting to know each other a lot better, and we are getting to know each other's strengths. We are developing quite fast on that level, but the playing skills come with playing. Losing eight games out of eight is always going to be tough to accept. You go into every game expecting to win it, but loss after loss is difficult. But looking back, we can see our game improving, and the next campaign starts in a week's time, so we can start progressing again. It doesn't really matter if you're last or if you're first. It's always a proud moment wearing your national shirt. Their opponents and near neighbours Estonia, currently unranked, arrived after a two and a half hour trip across the Gulf of Finland and were hoping to cause an upset. Our aim is to win. We played them in the spring and lost by a small margin, so we definitely want to win. The match may be a friendly, but the fans were looking forward to a close contest under the clear blue Scandinavian skies. With both sides still in the foothills of development, the International Rugby Partnership Shield was set up between Finland and Estonia as a device to help advance their rugby learning. And the goalposts suggested there was still much progress to be made. 
Finland stormed into a 17-0 lead thanks to two Jakob Wieland tries and one from Captain Tumpi. Estonia are hoping to be accepted into the European leagues with the aim of being competitive with the other Baltic states. And just before half time, they got their breakthrough from Ryan Kur, who also happens to be the president of the Estonian Union. The visitors were looking for revenge after defeat to the Finns earlier this year, but they were on the back foot for most of the second half. Ari Tikkanen scoring the Finns' sixth try. Two more tries would follow, final score of 55-5. One to forget for the Estonians, but the perfect way for Finland to prepare for their match against Luxembourg this weekend. Our new coach, Lee Bolger, has really brought plenty of pride to our team. He's introduced modern tactics and we're implementing them on the field. We have old and new players and we're gelling together as a team and I think we're going to have a successful campaign in the European Cup. So finally, a win for Finland. As for the future, well, the only way is up.